Nice to just, just let you know I'm recording this. So for students who um, who can log in. Absolutely, no problem. So Julia, tell me about yourself. Um, hmm, there's a lot to say. Um, I am technically a freshman at Massasoit. Um, I've done some college before at a different university, but now I'm at the point in my life where I'm kind of switching um, directions. I think I want to go toward more like the nursing. Yeah, it's um, funny you mentioned that. My I have a stats class that I'm running in conjunction with this, and <laughs> I had two students on. One was an uh, an older woman, and she was at work, a New England Deaconess. She was in her office all in her, and the young lady that joined us, she is a freshman at Emmanuel College, and she's in the nursing program. So very cool. Yeah. yeah, so I don't know. I, that's what I think I want to do. Um, I currently studied plant science and I'm still, you know, almost there getting my bachelor's degree. But, you know, the work field isn't really my type of industry, I don't think. So just seeing what no. else. No, we all, you know, things change. I mean, I didn't go back to school until I was in my late 30s for another degree and then went on from there. So, yeah, it's... Uh, doing it all in one shot people change their minds and things Absolutely. economy changes so yeah, changes you logging on and any questions i can answer for you as far as how um, so i guess my main question the homework was just to like read through all those chapters to program our calculator and like do all the examples sort of you know kind of like yeah here's what it, i do i you know i post on tuesdays and fridays and mm -hmm. not every day will you have a assignment to do but there'll always be a video Video, multiple videos. What I do do is as if I was in class, I would show a PowerPoint. So I do a voiceover of the PowerPoint and I have a Google Slides. And what you'll see, I'm not sure it's in today's, uh, but you'll see uh, for the homework assignment, I actually have a document camera. In fact, let me show it to you. Let me share my screen. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Thank you. And you should be seeing my. Um, my screen now, right? Yep. Okay, so let me go to modules. And this is today's homework. All right, so here's our first assignment because the very first day I had you do some reading and watch some video, whatever, yeah. whatever. So this is the first assignment per se. Okay. Actually, you're doing it. Actually, you're, I should take that back. I asked you to start section one, one. So I'm telling you to finish it and also now go on to section one, two. Okay. Um, since you haven't done section one, two, but you should have completed one, one, I've got this voiceover. If oh. I could show it to you, yeah. I'm sure what I'm doing here. All right, section, um, our very first homework assignment, section one, uh, one. Use substitution to determine whether to give an audit pair is a solution or the given equation. All right, so what we're gonna do is in place of the y value substitute y and then in place of x substitute the x value so what we've got here is y minus uh, y equals uh, 8x minus 9 so in place of y i'm substituting in a negative 57 question is that equal to 8 times my x value which is a negative 6 uh, minus 9 so we've got negative 57 is that the same thing as a minus 48 and a minus 9 combined, yes, minus 57 equals minus 57. Get the idea? Yeah. All right, so I walk you through okay. everything. It's a lot of work on my end, but that's nothing to do with you. That's, that's something I have to do. See, in statistics, it's more me talking the students through it, but in college algebra, you need to actually see it being done. Right. So every homework assignment, I actually spend the time. Sometimes it takes me a 40 minutes and I actually do each and every problem out. Mm -hmm. So what I would suggest you do is when it comes time for the exam is to have those homework assignments right by your side. And I'll tell you this, I use a test generating program for the homework. Now for the homework, I may use examples one, three and five, seven out of a particular session section, but the test would be problems two, four, six and eight. So there, the you know, it's the homework mirrors the exam, and the mirror, the mirror, the exam mirrors the homework. Okay. It's not going to be something completely different, you know. I, that'd be kind of crazy. Why am I going to have you practice something and they give you an exam that has nothing to do with what you practice? That doesn't make any sense. Right. But 
here's what I tell students. Make sure you do the homework first without just watching the video. Oh, I understand that. Yeah, I know how to do that. No, do the homework and then watch the video. Okay. And then if you still have a question, then reach out to me, you know. But I got more and more resources. I mean, I got videos and make sure you get your calculator that you rented from the uh, from the library. Fantastic. And like I say, I try my best to give you all the resources, but there's times when you, know, you may need to log on on a Friday or maybe a Wednesday now you're having a problem with something, shoot me an email and I'll either create my own video for you and I'll post it on YouTube or if it's an easy question, I can just respond back. Okay. All right. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Yeah, I think I did. So we can do that homework already, I'm pretty sure. Cool. Yeah. And then have that by your side. Now, the exams, let me just show you something. Let me go back to share my screen here. A pitch is worth a thousand words, right? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to share this. And if I want a new share, I want a new share. I don't want that, so I want to get rid of that. So let me stop sharing this. And give me a second here. Yeah. All right, this is what I want to share. Share screen, and I want to share that. And go to, well, here in Canvas, it's not called exams, it's called quizzes. Okay. All right, so when it comes time for the quiz, it's not available. Our first exam is not till June 23rd. But if I click on this, people are asking me, you know, how long do we have to do the exam? Well, It'll be open up at two o'clock on the 23rd and it'll stay open for 24 hours. It'll close up on the 24th. You got a 24 hour period. All right. For the exam. Now, once you start the exam, you got to do it in one sitting. All right. And once you answer a question, you can't go back. And I'll put on there that you have to do it all in one sitting. So you got a 24 hour period, gives people plenty enough time. But yeah. it's not a situation where you can start it, go to CBS, come back home and continue. You got to do it in that, that 90 minute time frame. All right, so let's see what else I got here for you. you, you see, this is my view, so you're not seeing all that. Uh, the textbook readings, yeah, they're there for, you know, for for further instruction, whatever. Calculator, opening remarks, getting started. Um, what I will do, and I don't think I have it here just yet, is I'll post something with the uh, worksheets with the answers circled. I'll do that over the next couple next couple of days. But here again, have the homework by your side when you're taking the exam. So, and I can say if I went into student view here, if I can get into student view, this is what you're seeing here. Correct. Now, you could program your calculator for the distance formula or just have the formula beside, you know, if you program your calculator, you put the two points in, it'll give you the answer automatically. Slope is not the hottest thing. It's the difference of the Y values over the difference of the X values. Some people take the time to program the calculator. Some people don't, you know, the, the formulas, neither one of those formulas is that, you know, that exotic that you can't do it on your own, so. But actually, every Tuesday and Friday, I'll, I'll post a new assignment and the readings are there. Now, you don't have to do all the readings at once because, we're, you know, um, they're there. And it kind of jumps around because this particular textbook takes them, you know, in different order. But these things all relate to all the things that you'll see in homework. Okay. All right, all right perfect. If I leave student view. All uh, right, so next homework I'll post is will be on 6-6 six. Six, Tuesday. You're going to, you know, watch the voiceover of section one, two, which you've completed since today. You started today, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. All right. Here I go. In fact, I can show this. All right. This is uh, section one, two. Uh, starting off with number one, uh, which of these which is the following a course is the following corresponds a function. Well, in a function, each member of the domain is assigned to exactly one value in the range. A goes 
A is assigned to X, B is goes to Z, and C is assigned to Y. Yeah, we have a function here, yes. Number two, nine gets assigned to 13. 10 gets assigned to minus 10. Minus 15 gets assigned to minus 10 and also to minus 17. Can't have that. Each member of the domain gets assigned to one and only. Um, many can go to one, but one can't go to many. Negative 15 can't be assigned to negative 17 and also to negative 10. Get the idea? No, yes. All right. Okay. So I, I take each problem so whether or and, uh, I, you know, you see me do it. Which is great, I mean, because that's like we're in class. Someone raises their hand. I don't know how to do number 15. On the board, I'm doing number 15. But here, you got it all there for, for you. But the idea is, you know, you'd have to. And then we do a lot with the calculator, so. All right, I want to do a couple of problems from section one, two. Things that I've already done in the other recording. But I just want to show you how a few of these would work out. Starting with number seven. It's asking us to evaluate this function. At a particular value, she's asking me to find f of negative one. So first thing I need to do is enter the function into my calculator. I want to get the idea. Uh, I'll be showing the whole thing. But I actually show you just how things are done with the calculator. But you gotta realize on YouTube, how many videos do you think exist on a TI calculator? Oh uh, hundreds. Yeah. Hundreds, if not maybe a million. I don't know, a lot. Yeah, and people just don't take the time. You know, it's like people asking me if the Zoom meetings are mandatory. I mean, how many ways do I have to say non-mandatory? Yes. I said it in the video. I said it in the syllabus. I said it in the email. I mean, duh. <laughs> People think that you're going to take like attendance or something and they take points off. Uh, yeah, like, but non-mandatory means because you got to realize that people work. Uh, yeah, absolutely. There's no, yeah, there's no perfect time to do a Zoom meeting. Yeah, people work with uh, kids. Not all of us are going to align. Yeah, so I, you line. know, you're on it, and I, and I'm telling you, I'm recording this, so people are going to yeah. see this, and you know, hopefully, the questions that I'm answering, ask, answering for you, will help somebody else out. So I record them. I mean, if you can't be on, that's not non-mandatory. Means just what it means, but you got to be able to, like, you know, actually read and, you know, here's something that I'll tell. I'm saying it for you, but I'm saying it for everybody else. In Canvas, I can see the length of time that you spent logged in. And right now I'm seeing people have spent four or five hours and I'm seeing some people that spent three minutes. And I'm wondering, three minutes? What, what have you accomplished in three minutes? You know, I mean, what could you have possibly done? I can see. It's right. not like uh, I, have any, I don't have any idea. And I look at it and I go, okay, yeah, fine, okay. What do you think is going to happen here? So you can kind of determine who's going to do good and who's not really. <laughs> you think? <laughs> to an extent, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that's think? good to know. What I'm going to do, too, as we move on, I can actually share my... Let me see. I, I could get into trouble here. Um, let me stop this share. And let me see if I can do something here. If I go to advanced... <sighs> See, I can actually share my um, my desktop and I could actually do problems here for you. All right, let's say we get we move on and let's say we're in let's say section two two. Yeah, you want to see you actually want to see me do a problem. I can share my my screen here, my document camera, and do the problem out for you. You're seeing my cup and a few other things here. Awesome. All right. So that's pretty, I think that's pretty nice. That's really helpful. Yeah, I try my best. I guess I've been doing this a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of years. I've been with Massasoit over 30 years. Um, my history goes back to online, back to dating back to the late 90s. So this is online is nothing new under the sun, but it, it meets a lot of people's work schedule and it's convenient. And then some people think because it's online, you don't have to do the work. You know, when we do a regular summer course, it's five week. We do a whole 15 week course in five weeks a lot of work this is this expanded over 10 weeks so it's not as uh, you know labor intensive so to speak but still work you still gotta log on and still do your work if you want to succeed there's no way you're going to do it without it so yeah but, it's like going into an exam without studying at all and anticipating you're doing okay thank you, know? you thank you thank you but yeah. um what can i tell you i can't go and do it for you Absolutely. i can't do it for people 
you know, it's like I got an email from a, a person. I started my first Zoom meeting. I had to put it off from uh, 11 o'clock to 1.30 because I had a, my wife had a doctor's appointment. So I was on with two people from 1.30, excuse me, to about 2 o'clock. We chatted. So no one was there. I logged off. Person emailed me. Oh, I logged in. No one was there. Well, well I'm supposed to wait until you decide that you can log in. Things started at 1.30. I mean, you know. No, I just can't sit here and wait till you decide to log on. It just doesn't work. Life doesn't work that way. No, that's inconvenient to you too, you know. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you. But um, you, sometimes you just like scratch your head and you go, oh, really? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. That's like people are showing up really late to class at that point. I, this might sound rude, but like, why did you even come? Like now you're disrupting the entire class. It's already 45 minutes late. The class is Yeah, and in some instances, it's a legit reason. You know, yes. You, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, in today's day and age, with what's going on in the world, I mean, so you try to be, you know, patient with folks, but if it continues on and on, I may have a conversation with people. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I've been doing this long enough time. To, you just go, okay. You know, first couple of times, maybe, but after the fifth time, I mean, are you, are you serious about this? Yeah. It's like, it's like, you know, we'll end this meeting in a few minutes and then some of you will tell me, oh, I logged on at three. Well, hey, I was on since 2.30. You didn't forget to log in between now and then. Uh, I just say, you know, I got a life to live too. I got things to do. Yeah, absolutely. And if they didn't make it, hopefully they'll make it next time, you know? Yeah, exactly. We got nine more of these, you know? Yeah. They, you can make them watch. That's why I've been talking about some generalities about the test and how homework, because at least they watch the recording, if they watch it, um, they get an idea, so. All righty. Yeah, well, it's Feel free to email me anytime you have a problem. And like I say, um, I answer my email within, you know, usually within four or five hours, unless it's at two in the morning. Other, but other than that, um, I'm always on my machine. So I'm here to help you and help you hope you uh, help you have some success in college algebra. Perfect. Well, thank All you. Right. You're quite awesome. welcome. Pleasure nice meeting you. Nice to meet you too. Bye. Bye. -bye.